Hey guys, King Charles is now set to be crowned. And here he is right now. And wow. As he is the new king of England. God save the king. Hallelujah. What a moment. Zadok the Priest, written by George Handel, set to music by George Handel for the coronation of George II. That text has always been part of English coronations. And the music, so powerful, so recognizable. That private moment experienced by the king is more there, testaments of there's the about to sit. between him and God. And now the ceremony continues. Receive these spurs, symbols of military honor and chivalry, that you may be a brave advocate for those in need. Now is bringing the scepter. Oh, it's a sword. Amen. As you know, I'm not a Catholic, everyone. And as we're watching the coronation of King Charles, we'll now be seeing various pieces of the royal regalia presented to His Majesty, including three swords. We saw the spurs that were just given to him. There will be royal bracelets known as Armels. And then his son will present him with the royal robe and stole royale in a few moments. Prince William. Help and 
and defend widows and orphans, restore the things that have gone to decay, maintain the things that are restored, punish and reform what is amiss, and confirm what is in good order, that doing these things you may be glorious. <sighs> Sorry about my sneeze, everyone. Amen. Long may he reign. Now, could that be a scepter? All right, they pass him the scepters, and I think that's another one. And the rod of equity and mercy, a symbol of covenant and peace. May the spirit of the Lord who anointed Jesus at his baptism so anoint you this day that you might exercise authority with wisdom and direct your counsels with grace, that by your service and ministry to all your people, Justice and mercy may be seen in all the earth. And now King Charles's crowning moment, the first of two crowns to be placed upon his head, the St. Edward's crown. And there's the Which crown, Charles the royal II. crown of England. King of kings. And Lord of Lords, bless we beseech thee this crown, and so sanctify thy servant Charles, upon whose head this day thou dost place it for a sign of royal majesty, that he may be crowned with thy gracious favor, and filled with abundant grace and all princely virtues. Through him who liveth and reigneth supreme over all things, one God, World without end. Amen. Amen. Just like Queen Elizabeth's coronation when she was tw twenty six. Wow. God save the king. God save the king. Here we go, the national anthem. I hope I, all, I hope all the lyrics I should remember about the national anthem of 
UK. God save the king. Seventy years later, since Prince George, his grandson, who was in the line of succession, that it was Charles himself who was once a young boy watching this very Queen Elizabeth was been reigned seventy years since last year, and today she would have been her reign would have been seventy one, but will remain her as seventy years. Well, the national anthem's about to be next. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his God. Peace. King of the world. The Lord protect you in all your ways and prosper all your work in his name. The Lord give you hope and happiness that you may inspire all your people in the imitation of his unchanging love. The Lord grant that wisdom and knowledge be the stability of your times and the fear of the Lord your treasure. May God pour upon you the riches of his grace, bless you and keep you in his holy fear, prepare you for a happy eternity and receive you at the last into immortal glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. And I hope King Charles III doesn't not get executed as well, just like King Charles I, like I heard on the, the document of King Charles I. Where, where it lives, and there he is walking along 
with 10, 11, 12 pounds worth of, of regalia, crowns, investments. The chair itself stays at Westminster Abbey, but the Stone of Scone, yes. as it's called, is a Scottish stone. That there is wow, a large Scottish history. stone. There's probably an entire book written about how it's gone back and forth between England and Scotland. It resides in Scotland under the condition that it can be returned for four nations as it has been today. So the St. Edward's chair is used as it has been for the last 700 years. And now a new throne, the throne chair, where we will watch the king be enthroned, followed by an homage paid to him by his son, William, who was first in line to the throne. will be faithful and true. And faith and truth I will bear unto you, our sovereign Lord, defender of the faith, and unto your heirs and successors, according to law. So help me God. So help him God. my loyalty to you, and faith and truth I will bear up to you, as your liege man of life and limb. So help me God. Give him the oath. who wish to offer their support to do so with a moment of private reflection by joining in saying God save King Charles at the end or for those with the words before them to recite them in full I swear that I will pay true allegiance to your majesty and to your heirs and successors according to law so help me God Help me, God. God save the king. King Charles has been crowned and enthroned. Wow. An homage paid to him by the leader of the Church of England. He's been now crowned. to the public to pledge fealty if they so chose. And it slightly backfired in this last week as you're alluding to it, but weirdly it was an attempt for them 